Hello everyone, you're watching Brian Rashid Global and today we're gonna to talk about a topic that is very popular among our audiences. How do I start a speaking career? There are a lot, and I mean a lot, of people out there giving advice about starting a speaking career and I don't know if it's good or bad advice, what I do know is I've been able to build a lucrative speaking career and I wanna share with you the tips that have really been a differentiator for me to start a public speaking career and be paid well for it. So today I wanna to walk you through a few tips. Number one, the first thing you have to really think about is what is it that you bring in terms of a value proposition as a speaker? So you know, if you're gonna talk about building cranes but you've never built a crane, it's gonna be impossible for you to start a speaking career that's lucrative. Actually, the first question really is, do I wanna make money on it or do I not wanna make money on it? A lot of people can use speaking careers and there are loads and loads of free speaking opportunities. And a lot of people can use those opportunities to build their business, to get more followers on Instagram, to promote a product on the side. There's a lot of different reasons that people go into speaking. So if you want to not be paid to be a public speaker, but you wanna use speaking as a proxy into selling your product or gaining more of a following, then you just have to think about these questions. Who do I wanna to talk to? How do I get in front of them and what is my message? It's much easier to not be paid as a speaker than it is to be paid as a speaker. But if you wanna be paid as a speaker, and this advice is also true of a non-paid speaker, you have to do certain things. Number one, you have to identify your topic. You have to identify what it is that you wanna speak about and if you can't clearly distill your value proposition in about one or two sentences, you need to redefine your topic and you need to continue to hammer down on that. So for example, I speak about storytelling in 2017. How do you tell stories that sell using social media? That's my one line value prop. What is yours? So think about what is your topic? What are the two or three things that you'll cover in the talk? Number two, who do you want to talk to? Is it university students? Is it organizations and companies? Do you want to speak as a, as a keynote at different conferences? So number two is who do I want to speak to? Number three is where are those actual events? And this is where it just gets into the good old, old fashioned spreadsheet world where you go and you do Google scraping and I've spent hundreds and hundreds of hours identifying conferences, identifying universities, identifying the contact points at organizations, and then you make a list. And you make a list of all those people and then you send them a one paragraph email about who you are, what is your value prop, going back to the previous point, and then what you need to do next is you need to attach something about yourself. So, I would recommend a one pager or a media kit if you have enough buildup. In my case at this point, five years in, I have a buildup of, of previous speaking appearances, of my topics, of where I've been featured in major publications like Entrepreneur and Inc. and Forbes and Huffington Post, as well as some testimonials of people that uh, have heard me speak. So build out that media kit. I'm happy to send any of you that write me that media kit at no cost. So you can see what that looks like and you can kind of model it to be, uh, to fit your speaking topic. And then the fifth thing I would say is, what is the actual strategy once you get the public speaking uh, interest from somebody? So let's just, I'm just gonna walk you through a real practical example. Let's say you want a paid public speaking job giving a public speaking workshop for KPMG. It's an accounting firm, let's say, or Intel or whatever. They have a new product coming out and you wanna help their executives talk about that product and when it's exciting. And you wanna do that as a public speaker in front of the audience. You write and tell, you tell them, listen, here's who I am, here's why I wanna bring the value to you, here's why I'm qualified to do it, that's all explained in the media kit that you're gonna attach. Can I come in and give a talk? It's gonna go one of two ways. They're gonna either gonna say, yeah, it looks great, here's the fee that we can pay, and you decide if that's good or not, or they're gonna say, mm, we're not too sure about you, or we don't have a budget for that. In scenario two, scenario one's easy, you just go and you do it. In scenario two, it's a little bit more complicated, so most people, what they'll do is they'll say, oh, well, they don't have a budget, or no, they said no to me. Instead, do this. Offer it to them for free. Public speaking at the very beginning, I, get, I gave almost all of my speeches for free in the first year. It's the best way to break into the market. Do it under two conditions. One of two conditions. Number one, the person that brings you in to give a speech for free promises that they will also bring somebody that is a hiring decision maker for the future. Because that way, when they bring the decision maker, now the decision maker's in the audience, the decision maker can see the quality of content you bring and your delivery style, and it makes it easier in the future to actually get hired. Number two, if, you, if, if that's not an option, ask if you can collect the information of the participants, the names and the emails of the participants, and then you move them into 
either an email list where you can continuously update them on the things that you're doing, or you just reach out to them personally and ask how the, how the conference went, how the public speaking presentation went, and then if they knew of anyone that might want this in the future. So my friends, public speaking is a difficult thing. What you need to do is have your topic, have your, com have, have your niche market, make a list, reach out, attach a media kit, have your value prop very clear on that, have why you're an expert in this, and then in some cases, you're gonna have to do free talks. And when you do free talks, my suggestion is, instead of just giving a free talk, which in and of itself is fine, if they have, an you know, in the audience there might be someone that could hire you in the future, but even better, at that free talk, they, the company or the organization or whatever has promised you that they want to bring, that they will bring a decision maker into that talk. Or you can siphon the attention and the interest of the audience where you can start to do your own biz dev and have that control of their email and their name so you're not limited by the gatekeeper of the organization. That's my quick advice about becoming a public speaker. Hope it's helpful to you. Please follow me on the social world. Send us your questions. We'd love to answer them. And have a great day full of the words that you want to be sharing with the world.